Good morning, students. Today we continue our lecture on study of compounds sulfuric acid, that is H2SO4. This lecture is presented by me, Panit Ghatak, your chemistry teacher. So, let's begin. Here, all of you can see from the heading itself. Today, we will discuss about the dehydrating agent and what is dehydrating agent and sulfuric acid being acting as a dehydrating agent. Okay, so let's begin. Here, before we know, we have to know, before we start, we have to know what is dehydrating agent. Okay, and what is the difference between the dying agent and dehydrating agent. So, I have give you a competitive chart by which we can easily know the difference between the dying agent and dehydrating agent and by the knowing by knowing this difference we can easily know the what is dying agent and what is dehydrating agent okay so let's get started so first thing dying agent removes the moisture from other substances while the dehydrating agent removes chemically combined molecules water chemically combined molecules water from the other substances here in this dehydrating agent the chemic uh, the dehydrating agents done do what they extract or remove the uh, water chemically from a chemically com compound or chemical compound okay but in the case of dying agent the dying agent just remove the moisture the outer water from the molecule itself okay and Point number two, the dying agent. What is dying agent? They does not react chemically. It is a physical change. Okay. So di dying, con the concept of dying is basically a physical concept. Okay. So here in the case of dying agent, they the dying agents do not do a chemical reaction. They do a physical reaction. They only dye the other substance. But here in the case of dehydrating agent, the chemically combined with other substance okay here in the case of dehydrating agent the dehydrating do a chemical reaction they first react with the other substance chemically and then they will remove the water from that other substance chemically by doing a chemical reaction but here in the case of dying agent there is no such chemical reaction they do only a physical reaction by dying the other substance okay for example Anhydrous calcium chloride, phosphorus pentaoxide, that is P2O5, and disodium sulfate. All of this, this calcium chloride, P2O5, and sodium sulfate, all of them are basically a dying agent. They will dry up the substance that are required. But dying up doesn't mean they will abstract the water from the molecule itself. They will just dry up the water vapor or water moisture. Okay, so whenever in a compound there is a moisture, so what happened? We use the dying agent. Dying agent does what? Dying agent will remove the water moisture from the substance. Okay, remember they will not remove the water from the compound itself. Okay, they will just remove the water moisture of the surface. Okay, of the molecule. Okay, but when uh, there is a crystal water or water of crystallization present or any water present in a molecule not only the water moisture not only the moisture but also the suppose here uh, in a molecule a certain molecule we have getting a water of crystallization so to remove this water of crystallization we need sulfuric acid because sulfuric acid is being acting as a dehydrating agent and dehydrating agent do a chemical reaction and by doing this chemical reaction, it can remove the water from molecule chemically. Okay. So, this is the difference between the dying agent and dehydrating agent. Okay. Okay. So, let's go to the next slide. Here, in the previous slide, we have discussed about what is dying agent and what is dehydrating agent. So, we got a fairly good idea about dehydrating agent. Okay. So, right now, the topic is... Sulfuric acid being acting as a dehydrating agent. Okay. So, what will happen if it acts as a dehydrating agent? Okay. So, it will act like water or it will dehydrate the other molecule. Dehydrate means 
Hydrating or dehydrating means hydrating means addition of water and dehydrating means removal of water. Okay, and when an organic substance is being dehydrated, it will decompose. Okay, example sugar. We have two things, two example in our syllabus that is the sugar and CuSO four. Okay, so we are doing right now. We are discussing about sugar. Okay, so what? Organic is organic compound or organic substance. Organic substance are those those are mainly composed of carbon and hydrogen. Okay, and partly oxygen as well. Sugar molecule is an organic molecule, and when it is being reacted with when this sugar that is C twelve H twenty two O eleven. Okay, so this is not a glucose. This is sugar. That means it is containing glucose and fructose. Okay, so here in the sugar molecule when it is being reacted with H two SO four. It will do a dehydration reaction. What happened when it do a dehydration reaction? When it removes the water from the system of sugar, then it will decompose. It the compound, the organic compound will decompose. That is how here the reaction goes on. When the H2SO four is being reacted with sugar, then what happened? The water molecule will be generated. The eleven water molecule will generate. So by removing this water molecule, the system, the sugar molecule, will decompose. The system will decompose, and it will give a twelve carbon as a product. Okay, so this will be the product from the reaction. When and sulfuric acid being acting as a dehydrating agent, it will react with sugar molecule. So at first, as in the sugar molecule, there will be certain number of water more can be present. So what happened from the molecule itself? From the molecule itself, H two SO four being extract or remove the water, almost eleven water molecule will be extracted, and by removing this eleven water molecule, the sugar compound will be decomposed, and it will only form twelve carbons. Okay, okay, and H two SO four can also be utilized in laboratories to dye gas mixture that are belong. Are being prepared or analyzed. Okay, so it is about being used in the labs as well due to its dehydration power. Okay, due to it is about being acting as a dehydrating agent as well. So this is the example number one where it is about is being acting as a dehydrating agent and it is uh, doing a reaction on sugar molecule and it will just. Remove the water from the sugar molecule, and it will leave twelve carbon only. Okay, twelve carbon elements only. Okay, so next move to the next topic. Now move to the next topic that is the reaction of copper sulfate. Okay, here in the mole in the in the slide you can see that here I have written. That is copper sulfate dot five H two. So copper sulfate dot five H two means this five H two are the water of crystallization. Water of crystallization. Okay. So water of crystallization. Here, due to the water of crystallization, as water of this to do a crystal, there will be a certain level of water of crystallization will be present. Okay, so due to the order of crystallization, some impurities will be also in there. As the impurities are there, so we will get some color. Okay, as in the crystal structure, due to the presence of some impurities as well as the order of crystallization, we have a certain color. So in the case of CuSO four dot five H two, that is hydrous copper sulfate, it is being called as hydrous copper sulfate. Hydrous means it has some Water molecule in there, hydrous copper sulfate. Okay, and it is being called as anhydrous copper sulfate. Okay, so this will be called as a hydrous copper sulfate. That means it has some water molecule in it, and what it is being reacted with, is to it will give a reaction. So before that, the hydrous molecule because of presence of some impurities and water crystallization, it will have a color of blue crystalline salt. Blue crystalline salt. It will have a color of blue. Okay, but when it is being reacted with when it is being reacted with H two SO four, it this H two SO four will be acting as a dehydrating agent and it will absorb this five H two and 
it will remove the high residue from the hydrous copper sulfate molecule and it will form CuSO4 plus 5H2. Here in the case of this 5H2 will be removed from the CuSO4 system. Okay, and this CuSO4 will be called as anhydrous CuSO4. Anhydrous copper sulfate. And due to the absence of water crystallization as well as the impurities, so it is being called, it is being, it will not having any color like the previous one, like the hydrous copper sulfate okay so that is why in the case of anhydrous copper sulfate will be have a color will have a color of white amorphous salt and it will be it doesn't have any color and it will be uh, the texture of this anhydrous copper sulfate will be amorphous okay so in this reaction as well you can see that when h2so4 is being reacted with a hydrous salt it will uh, dehydrate the hydrous salt that is the cuso 45 h2 and it will make the molecule make the molecule anhydrous by removing this water and by removing the water of crystallization the corresponding substance will lose its color as well okay so this is the way of acting as a dehydration or dehydrating agent by a H2SO4 or by any dehydrating agent okay so in this reaction I have been in this class we have discussed about what is dehydrating agent and what is the difference between the dehydrating agent as well as the dying agent and H2SO4 being acting as a dehydrating agent in two cases that is sugar in the case of sugar and in the case of hydrous copper sulfate okay so I hope you have understood this part very well if you get any kind of doubt regarding today's topic please ask me in the comment section below so thank you very much bye